Hello, my name is Hadrian Parker, and I am a Senior Analytic Training Consultant with Analysis Prime University. This tutorial is part one of a two-part series. In part one, we will create data actions to copy, then transform data from one version to another. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a data action, use a data action to copy data from one version to another, use an advanced formula step to modify the data, add a data action to a story. Here we have a table showing the expenses made during 2022, broken down by month and expense type. Our planning team wants to copy the total data expenses for 2022 and allocate the monthly average to the planning version of the table as the previous year's expenses. Data actions allow developers to create a cascade of steps that modify data in a planning model. Data actions can be added as buttons to stories or analytic applications so that the end user can complete complex or tedious procedures with a button press. Select data actions in the menu bar. Create a new data action. Give it a name. Select a financial model and click OK. First, let's add some parameters. All data actions have the parameter target version. This is the version that the data is being written to. Click create parameter to add another parameter for the source version. Give the parameter an ID. Select version as the dimension and update the name for the prompt. The first step is to copy the expense data from actuals in 2022 and insert that into the planning version for December 2022. Under Add Steps, select Add Copy Step. Name it Actuals to Planning. Under Filters, select Version. Change the filter to the Source Version. Click Add Filter and select Account. Check Expenses, then click OK. Click Add Filter and select Date. Check 2022, then click OK. This step will now copy all the data, including its disaggregation to the target version. Instead, we want the total expense for each expense type to be aggregated to December 2022 in the planning version. Under Aggregate 2, click Add Dimension and select Date. Find and select December 2022 and click OK. Save the data action. We can now add the data action to our story. In the planning page, select the plus button under insert and select planning trigger. Choose the data action trigger. Label the trigger. Then find your data action. As the end user will always be copying from actuals, we will change the source input to fix value. Then select the actuals member. Save the story. Click the Run Data Actions Play button. Select the target version, then click Run. The total expenses for 2022 are now disaggregated to December 2022 in the planning version. Let's change these values to show the monthly average expense by dividing the value by 12. 
Open the Data Actions application. Add an advanced formula step. Give it a name. Expand context. Click Add Filter and select Date. Select December 2022. Add account as another filter. Select Expenses. Note all the expense types should also be selected. Select the plus button between begin and end and select calculation. Click the plus sign in the expression box and select source scope. Hover over calculations and select the plus button and select input field. Currently the formula is adding 123.4 to the source. Change this so it is dividing the source by 12. Save the changes. Click on Script. This shows the script view for the step you created. The context is set with the member sets. The base member function will select all the leaf members in the parent selection. Data is the target data. Result lookup is the source as it is filtered by the member sets. Go back to the story. Run the data action. December 2022 is now showing the monthly average for the year 2022. In this tutorial, we covered how to create a data action, then use that data action to copy data from one version to another. Then we used an advanced formula step to modify the data. And then we added the data action to the story as a button. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the like button below. You can also view our growing catalogue of self-paced courses, tutorials, webinars, and join the community forum by creating your free account at analysisprime.com.